Hey guys, it's Alara. Right, I'm not as animated as usual. I just woke up. But today I'm doing a uh, get ready with me. I'm going to church today and I have no video ideas. So that's what I'm doing. Um, if you don't notice anything different, <coughs> um, I have bangs now. Do you notice them? Do you notice them? So I already brushed my hair and for hair today, I'm gonna just yeah, put this hairs away and put that in the ponytail. My hair style is basically, I like to call it, I need to take a shower. It's a really good hairstyle. So it's, I need to take a shower and I have bangs. Do you see them? Bangs, bangs, bangs. But for this, I have to put them behind my ears so I can do my makeup. My outfit is, I can't wear leggings often because I go to a uniform school, so I'm taking my chances while I can. I'm just going to start off with this Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And I'm just going to put this a little, just a tiny little bit on the back of my hand. It doesn't really look like this is my color, but once I blend it in, it actually conceals more of my redness on my cheeks. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything. I'm like really hungry in the mornings. I'm mostly dotting this where I have redness and then on the main areas of my face as well. And then I like to blend it in. I really don't need that much foundation. I really don't like wearing foundation actually, <laughs> but I decided to do it today. It kind of just evens out my skin tone a little bit more. Then I'm going to take my True Match concealer and I'm going to put this under my eyes. I think I put on too much. That's okay. Blending exists. Which is why you can never truly mess up your makeup. Unless if you do eyeliner. I'm not happy with my coverage, so I'm just going to dot some more of this concealer on my cheeks. Now that I'm finally happy with the coverage, the coverage I've got going on right now, I'm going to move on to the powder. I'm using this new powder, which is a Fit Me powder, and when I opened it, I was like, wait a second, and I lifted it up, and it showed like a freaking <laughs> a, mir a mirror and a little powder puff, and I'm not going to use that, but I still think that's very helpful. I'm going to use my usual powder brush, which Jessie's girl on it, I honestly don't know where I got this. But, oh yes, I can already tell this is so much better than my last powder. My last powder was so crappy. And this one's just smooth and goodly. I'm just going to put this all over my face to set everything. For my eyeshadow, I'll be using these two brushes. And I'm going to be using this brush on the lightest color in this palette. This is my favorite palette. I know you've seen it a lot, but I love it. <laughs> it's my favorite. And I'm just going to put this on my eyelid. And I'm going to put the caramel color, oops, wrong brush. I guess I'm going with it. <laughs> and I'm going to put this in my crease. I was going to use the other brush for this. I really want to go with simple for today because I'm too lazy to actually do something good. And then I'm going to take my finger on the lightest color and I'm just going to put that to try to highlight it so you can see there's clearly a difference there's crease and there's base eyeshadow then I'm going to go back to my face um, I like this blush a lot and you've also seen it in a lot of my videos and it's like Coralie, it's called Passion Rose and I got it at the drugstore but it was actually a really good blush and it surprised me and it just finally brings some color back to my face because after foundation there's barely any color left <laughs> For highlighter, because I love highlighter and I don't like contour, I'm just going to be using this Rubute palette, blah, 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 and I'm grabbing this 
very icicle, beautiful cream shadow because this is magical stuff. And I put this on my nose, <laughs> my Cupid's bow, and as per usual, below my, I don't know how to, what is this, above my cheeks. Does that work? I'm just going to blend out the nose a little bit because it's kind of crazy. Yes, queen. Now people can see me from freaking space. Oh. Oh wow, that's too much. <laughs> that's still too much, but I'm just going to deal with it because you can never have too much highlighter. Very smart people say. Next I'm going to put on mascara. This is my favorite mascara because it's like less clumpy than my other mascara, even though it's the same brand. I haven't used this one as much, so it's like not clumpy. And it just goes on nice and smooth, and it looks more natural. For brows, I'm just going to put on this ugh, light brown eyeshadow in LA Colors Mattes with this eyeliner brush. And I'm going to put this on my eyebrows. Woo. I just totally messed up. Just kind of frames my face a little bit more. And then I'm going to comb them through with this. And I'm going to brush them through with this. I know my eyebrows are not perfect. I don't really want to pluck them or anything. And I'm a small child. Remember that. Don't judge me, but for my lips, I'm going to use this blush stain that I have. Because I really like the color and I'm like feeling this dark pink today for some reason. I hardly ever wear colors like this. And I'm just putting this onto my finger and then putting it on my lips. to top it all off I'm using this Ellen Tracy pearlescent lip gloss I love it so much you've seen it before a few times oh no when this happens though I hate it I'll fix it though yay So guys, that is pretty much it for my tutorial. See you guys later. I hope you like my new bangs. Bye!